We talked about lines and angles last time in our videos introducing Euclidean geometry in grade 10. Today we're going to be talking about triangles. So we have got different types of triangles, although then they may not be drawn up to uh, to accuracy. But then they will just I'll just give you an idea on how to identify each and every uh, particular type of triangle. Welcome to Educate. Today we're going to actually look at the first triangle here. We have got a scalene triangle. So this is called a scalene triangle. Well, uh, it might look like any other triangle, but then you have certain things that makes it a scalene triangle. So to be able to identify that this is a scalene triangle, all the sides must not be equal. So it means none of the sides is equal to each other. So supposedly this side is equal to 5 centimeters. This other side is equal to 7 centimeters. And then this one is equal to 8 centimeters. So this tells you that none of the sides are equal to each other so this is known as a scaling triangles so no sides are equal in length so that's simply it so it means that when this side is uh let me just put one line over here let me put two here and then let me put three here to just show that these are three different lengths okay let me just write a b and c you can actually see that no side is equal to any other side in the triangle so this is called a scaling triangle so no side is equal to the other so that's this is how you identify a scaling triangle you don't have to actually speculate with your own eyes to see if this can seem equal but then they'll actually put values to you to actually tell you that this side is of which length like for here it's five centimeters for this one is seven for this one is eight so those are three different numbers that makes all those sides not equal to each other let us go to this second type so this second type it is known as the isosceles triangle so the isosceles triangle is identified in this way so to be able to identify that this is an isosceles triangle this side over here must be equal to that side meaning that two opposite sides must be equal to each other you can see that these two sides here are equal these are indicated by these lines to show that they are of the same length so it means here if i'm going to put five centimeters even here i must put five centimeters to make it an isosceles triangle so you can just say two sides are equal two opposite sides I equal so here there's also another thing about an isosceles triangle uh, well the base angles are equal so this is actually the base so this is your base of the of this isosceles triangle so it means that the angle you're gonna find here is actually going to be equal to the angle you're gonna find here so it means one more thing base angles are equal so this means that when I have 30 degrees here here I also will have 30 degrees so this is and known as an isosceles triangle then we go to our our equilateral triangle so this is called the equilateral so what makes it known as the equilateral it is because this equi just means that there is equal okay so here we can see that uh, in an equilateral triangle all the sides are equal to one another so it means here if it is six centimeters here also must be six centimeters here also must be six centimeters and the angles within a triangle are actually equal to 60 degrees each so each angle you're going to find in this triangle remember that an angle is formed when two lines meet so it means each angle is going to be equal to 60 degrees so it means that the sides of this triangle 
sides, let's just say all sides are equal. And then all angles are equal to 60 degrees each. So this is one of our triangles. So let me actually draw one more. So this would be known as a right angle triangle. So the right angle triangle looks like this. So this one is kind of different from the other triangles. Okay, so this one must have a 90 degrees angle at this corner. So that means that it's a 90 degrees angle whenever these two lines meet, which is this line and this line, they form an angle of 90 degrees. So one interior angle must be equal to 90 degrees. When I say interior, I just mean that an angle inside the triangle must actually be equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, for a right angled triangle, one interior angle is equal to 90 degrees so these are the types of triangles which we'll actually be dealing with uh, as we go on thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe tell your friends to stay tuned